Hey guys, I just got done watching Ungentlemanly Warfare, uh, or Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, whatever you want to call the, the full title. It's a long ass title, it is basically the long point here. But holy shit, this movie is fucking great. You have a mega movie star in this movie, that being Henry Cavill. And you know, Guy Ritchie, this man does not miss. This man just keeps the gentleman's fucking fantastic, one of my best favorite movies of all time. I love. Wrath of Man with Jason Statham, you know, two of my favorites. This movie, Henry Cavill, Alan Richardson. Oh my God. Like, I don't even know where to start. This movie is The Suicide Squad. If you take the comic book out of, comic books out of it, but it also inspires, it's by, it's the story of Winston Churchill. Um, and it, ins and so it's set during World War II and it sets up everything to come. It's like a spy machine. It was actually the inspiration for James Bond sneaking around, spying, doing stealthy, but unlike James Bond, sometimes things get a little bloody. They get a little brutal. And if you guys liked Reacher and you want to see Alan Richardson kick ass with a fucking battle axe plus bow and arrow, I think we got our new Green Arrow candidate for James Gunn, man. I mean, this man is brutal. And if you liked him as Reacher, you're going to like him more here. The dude is fucking amazing. And he's crushing it. He's making it feel amazing. You're loving it. Um, this movie is... A 10 out of 10 movie. Like, I saw Rotten Tomatoes with 80. Get the fuck out of here with your 80% nonsense Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, that, that shit, this movie's not an 80%. Look, I, I'm sure I'm going to get some hate on this. Dune 2, good movie. Liked it. Incredible world building, great stuff. Um, Monkey Man, great. Started a little slow, but the story was really good. This movie is fucking next level. I don't care what it takes. Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, Hollywood. Listen to me. Come, come over to my ear. I'm going to whisper you something. Like Samuel Jackson says, I'm going to fucking tell you, okay? I'm going to fucking tell you right now. If you do not cast Henry Cavill in the most high-profile roles that you can get, for, I don't, if, you're gonna, if you're getting ready to unveil fucking Craven actor Alien Taylor Johnson, fire his fucking ass as James Bond. Make Henry Cavill James Bond. Because I won't actually give a shit more about James Bond than I have in previous iterations. No disrespect to Daniel Craig, no disrespect to the other actors, but I just have this man boner for Henry Cavill that I can't, you know, let's just say that in a non-homophobic um, way, he um, he tickles my privates a little bit in all, you know, in all the right places, and, and, I'm, and I don't mean that in like a sexual way, I mean that in like a, as a fan of his work, as a as an amazing fan and act and fan of the actor and followed him for a long time, DC dicked him over, Witcher dicked him over. He's finally getting the respect he deserves. Look, him being the villain of Mission Impossible, good high profile role for him, but you had to wait for him. Him being the lead character in a movie, yes, check, green check mark, go. That's what we want. And then on top of that green check mark, that you you know, we know he signed up with Marvel. We're getting Chad Selesky, and which is one of my highest rated videos on my channel right now, if you guys haven't checked it out. Highlander, baby. I, I don't care what anyone else says. I know there's, I know we got Ballerina next year, and we got a lot of stuff. Whenever Highlander's release date is put, Highlander is skyrocketed to at least my top five for whatever year it comes out. Because anything Henry Cavill's in, my ass is in that seat. My ass ain't just in the set in that seat. Even though I normally like to sit in the back, I'm sitting in front row for that shit. Like. If Chad Selesky's giving out, like, early screening tickets, you bet your ass I'll be there with the biggest fucking sword you can see waiting for him. Because this movie's fantastic. It has brutal action. It has good humor. It has great storytelling. If you're looking for a movie to go see and you like a good Nazi killing movie, watch Ungentlemanly Warfare. This is like Inglorious Bastards, but unlike Tarantino, and Tarantino is a great director, I think Guy Ritchie just packs a better punch. His storytelling, the wit, the acting, incredible. Absolutely fantastic movie. Go check it out if you're a fan of Henry Cavill. If you like Reacher, you'll love it. If you like everyone else, you'll love it. You like, your, you like the Suicide Squad, but you want a real Suicide Squad? You'll love it. Go see it. Let's try it. Remember, guys, we're trying to hit 1K. Let's get more than 1K likes on, on this short, okay? Awesome. Now, as always, hit the like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next short or video. Have a great day.